Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. So I got all kinds of goodies here. Um, me and Fifi went when we were out the other day and you guys, if y'all watched that video, you know that we went to a Dollar Tree and uh, then when me and my hubby went on a drive after that, we went by a Dollar Tree, which usually I don't go to because they are... I never find anything new in there, um, except maybe some, like, holiday stuff, which is basically what I found, but I just feel sorry for anybody if that's the only kind of Dollar Trees that they have, and I feel like a lot of you guys, that's the only kind of Dollar Trees y'all have, y'all never get anything good, and I understand that, and I feel sorry for you guys, because I, I just hate that Dollar Tree. Okay, I don't hate it, but, you know, it's ridiculous. But anyway, um, we are going to go ahead and dive in after I say, um, if you guys have not subscribed to me and my channel, but you like my content, please hit that subscribe button right now, and let's do this. So, I've got several bags here. I'm just going to start with this one here. And um, one thing that that Dollar Tree did have was spring stuff and I love when they come out with these spring like paper plates and napkins so I did get and I don't think none of these really go together honestly I mean that one sort of I don't know let's just put these together okay maybe this, no they don't so this is just paper plates you get 12 in here they're square this they say hello spring yeah Hello Spring. I love this color of green, and they're just springy, and then I got some napkins, and I just grabbed, like, they had two different kinds of paper plates. I grabbed one pack of each, and they had two different kinds of napkins. So, this says Happy Spring. So, I love these napkins, honestly. Look at the butterfly. Isn't that beautiful? And the flowers and the wreath. So, we'll just pair those together just for the heck of it. And then this one here, I love. It gives me Pioneer Woman vibes. Does it not you? Look at that. The polka dots, the colors. If it were just a little bit brighter, it really would. And then this just says Farm Fresh Flowers. And I love the flowers in the back of the truck. And it also says Hello Spring. So there's those. And then I ran across these, and I got a box for the house and a box to send over to Josh and Allie. So, these are brownie cups. This is by Betty Crocker. It is cookies and cream brownie cups. The kit includes the brownie mix, the white frosting, and the cookie crumble topping. And you actually need a third a cup of oil. It says vegetable oil, but I never use vegetable oil. Never. I don't even own any. I never, I haven't bought vegetable oil in forever. Anything that I cook, I always do olive oil. I don't know. It, to me, I don't think it makes any difference, but it's healthier. I don't know. And one egg. So do those not look amazing? Oh, girl, let me just say, mm, that looks so good. So grab those. Okay. And then I grabbed me this because I just couldn't help it. I love me a hat. You guys know I love me a hat. Let me get this thing off of it. Hold on. Yeah. Um, I love hats. Like, and I... How cute is this? I feel like Carmen San Diego right now. Isn't this adorable? I would totally wear this out. I mean, they had it with the Easter bonnets, but I just feel like a hat to get the sun off your face. And it has a cute little bow in the back. I think it's adorable. And you know, you could be a little mysterious, you know, mysterious. I love it. I love it. And I love that it's in black. Yeah, that's super cute. Super cute for $1.25. You can't beat it. And then I also got this little set. This is just some spring decor. And this is the Happy Spring truck. And this is pretty darned um, sparkly. Uh, the fenders. Those fenders. And then this is kind of, I guess, the camper that goes with this. Definitely the same vibes and flowers and stuff. They also have a blue set. I could not hardly decide to save my life, but I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get one set, not both, and so I ended up getting the pink set. 
because I think this pink sparkle just got me. It's so pretty. Okay, so there's that. All right. How about a Boro? Voila! I just needed some paper towels. This is the super soft paper towel, strong and absorbent. Yeah, so it is what it is, right? Paper towels. Okay. I always love seeing these guys. Always. These are the little pillowcases for Easter. So, honestly, I still have my Easter pillowcase on from last year in my bed over there. I actually got it from Timu. And I, although I did get some of these last year, I think I donated them. But I'm loving these things. I think they're so cute. And they really... Okay, as far as softness goes, they're okay. Like they're, they're they feel sort of burlappy, but not. They they look they look kind of burlappy, but they feel softer than a burlap would feel. So um, I saw somebody last year, and I oh, what's her name? What's her name? Hold on. She glued cotton balls or pom poms or something on the tail, which was brilliant. Oh my gosh, my mind just went blank. Oh, I can see her playing this. Her name's Elizabeth. Beth. Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. But yeah, she did that. And these are so cute. Let me open the blue one too, just because they're adorable. Can you believe it's almost Valentine's Day? What is it, Wednesday? Today's, is it day after tomorrow? What? I am not believing it at all. I've got things to give out. I've got things to get together. Um, here's the blue one. That's still driving me crazy. Okay. Oh, gosh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Okay, I'll probably think of it before this video is over. Um, and I'll probably be distracted. But let's try not to be. Okay, let's just try not to be. Okay. My mind is like playing it. Okay. So, I grabbed these because being on the semaglutide, I do get heartburn a little easier than I used to. And I wanted some to carry in my purse. Honestly, I don't really care for these. I mean, they work. Okay, they work. They seem a little too candy-ish. I don't know why. They just seem very candy-ish. But they do work. Um, but I love the wintergreen ones. I don't know. I may dump these in the other bottle and just get me some wintergreen ones or just put some wintergreen ones in my purse. I don't know. The day when we were out, I got these when me and my hubby were out and I had a heartburn and I'm like, give me some. I just need some. So there's that. And then I thought these were super cute. These are just heart-shaped marshmallows and these are going to go in Ricky's little Valentine gift bag or whatever I end up doing. I have no clue. Um, but I love that they're heart-shaped marshmallows and you can't tell a whole lot. But they're super cute, and he loves marshmallows. They're strawberries and cream flavored. I would love to try that. That just seems really, really good. Okay, and then my hubby was with me this day, and he was wanting some York peppermint patties. And here they are. I told him they have them for sure. So, and these are actually a low fat, 70% less fat than the average candy, which I told him if I want one, I'll just have one. Like I am doing a whole lot better than I used to be doing. But if I want a little something, I've been letting myself have a little something. Um, and then this is something I've never seen. This is nails from Ioni. Okay, I've never seen, I've seen nail glue, but I literally have never seen nails from Ioni. The packaging is phenomenal. It really is. They're called Ballerina Long. I'm not that crazy about the print. I guess it would be really cute for Valentine's Day, but okay. Hold on, bear, bear with me. My light has been acting ridiculous here lately. So, I think it's on its last leg, but so am I. So, no, nah, just kidding. Just kidding. All positivity, right? Um, but anyway, those would be cute for Valentine's Day. Looks like they have little hearts on them and the pink. Um, but I just had to get them just because I've never seen Ioni nails. Like, I'm like, give me those. Give me those. 
And then this is just for me. I've just been, you know, trying not to have regular sugared gum. And I love mint gum. So this is two different kinds. Original, which is my favorite. Because it's like a cinnamon, right? And then this one is called Mint Bliss, which it's just going to be good. I'm sure of it. So there's that. And then I grabbed these. These are just a six-piece, four-hour emergency candles just to have, you know, just to have. Because you never know, like, what the future holds, right? And we have to be prepared with just a little bit of things. And, like, if there's going to be, like, three... Never mind. I'm not even delving into that subject. But, boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> you guys. You guys crack me up. Okay. Um, so, I found this shirt. And I'm thinking Jack could sleep in this. Or I could just keep it over here. Sometimes Ricky, like, will need a t-shirt or something. He'll get something on himself or something so I just I love the army green but it's definitely big but he can always sleep in it too like if he spends the night we are definitely going to be getting around to having a sleepover soon um just between me and you and I hate to admit this my Christmas tree's still up the ornaments are off I still have to take the lights which I'm planning on doing today but I've been planning on doing for two months. Okay. Please don't touch. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> and if it was different, I wish. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. Um, I saw these lashes. These are Ioni, which is some of my favorite lashes. Right now, I have the lash extensions on, which is they're little tiny, like pieces of lashes. And you actually put them underneath your regular, your, your lashes. And um, like with regular lashes, you put them over top. And so these go underneath, which I love these. That I can usually keep them on for two days anyway before they start aggravating me. But I love the old-fashioned lashes too. And these are beautiful. And the name of them is what made me throw them in the buggy. Okay. They're called Eternal Youth. And that's something that I'm kind of chasing, you know. <laughs> aren't we all, though? Really? Aren't we all? Like, eternal youth? Um, so, anyway, I had to get them. And I love the crisscross spiky look. These are fabulous, aren't they? So, there's those. And then I had to grab these because... Hold on. Let me guess. They're all in a different... All right, I don't know where those other ones are. But the other day, you will have, if you watch my video, you'll remember that I got some LOL socks for Ray. And um, these are JoJo socks, okay? You get, what is this, five pair? Six, five pair in here. And these are going to fit her perfectly. And they are super cute socks. They're JoJo socks. They're name brand. And like, look at JoJo on there. Isn't she cute? So, and her dog, which is adorable, and then this just says, love yourself. The black pair says, love yourself, and then the gray pair is just like little bows on little things, and then the white pair just says, Jojo, and then the Jojo. So, I got two pa packs of these because I know that they are like, like, most of us out there cannot keep track of a dang sock to save their life, okay? So, these are going to be perfect. And then I also got... Where are they? Hold on. I was trying to... Oh, I done got my hubby's pudding out the closet trying to show it to you guys. Y'all don't want to see his pudding? Um... Yeah. I don't know where the other... Well, let me just show you these. I got I put these for Ricky. Um, these are the Ryan's World socks. Five pair. Uh, three light gray, three dark gray. And there's Ryan. I, I really don't know who Ryan's World is. Um, I guess that's him again. And that says Ryan's World. That, that, that pair there. And then there he is again and again. So, I got two pairs of those, although one of them is missing in action right now. 
Um, I did get these carrots as some decor, probably for my daughter's work. Um, it is carrot garland, and how adorable is it, though? <coughs> Keep it on the garland theme, okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got tangled garland. Hold on. Ooh, tangled and sparkly. Okay, whoa, like we are, okay. How? How did this, oh, mmm. Guys? Oh, jeez. Oh, now I hate this. <coughs> oh my God. The, the, the glitter. Okay, I'm just going to show you, okay? <coughs> I feel like it's right on the verge of being untangled. If I could just get this egg out. Is it? Oh my gosh, no. You just don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Y'all don't know? I don't know. Holy cannoli. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So, these look like... What are they? Um, well, son of a gun. Okay, I can't remember. The marshmallow? The peeps? Peeps! These look like peeps. Look at them. And I love the little pink one. Look at that. Look at that pink one. Look at that. Purple and blue. Look at that little purple one. Ain't they cute? OMG, they're so cute. And then just these little eggs. I just thought they were cute as well. I love them. So, yeah. Ew. They're, they're a mess. They're a mess. Um, and then I saw this. And this is from Bolero. It's a body oil. I love a good body oil. Whether this will be a good body oil or not remains to be seen. But the scent is watermelon mint. So, let's check it out. Okay? Come here. Oh, my. This bad boy sealed up. Hold on. Mm. It's sealed up good, so I guess that's a plus. Okay. Mm. I hate when my hair does that. I hate that. Like, why does it do that? I don't care. It's done that since I was a teenager, okay? Like, it always separates. It's like this piece here has a mind of its own. Like, why do I even bother? I guess I could pin it back, but I didn't want to. I wanted it to be like all, you know, flowy and cute. But no, it has to separate. Okay, anyway, let's get off that. Oh, this definitely looks oil. So here's what it looks like. It says, refreshing body oil. The smell is what I'm wanting, wanting. Okay, let me spray it on my arm. Ooh, oh, oh, it sprays in a stream. Okay, I'm going to rub it in. I like to rub oil in my tattoos anyway. Holy cow, yes. Yes. Oh, Wow. Okay. I do not smell mint at all. And it honestly, this smells too, like tutti fruity to me. It smells like tutti fruity. It smells amazing. I love it. So that would be a great thing just to keep in your purse. When you want just a quick touch up, you know, put some on your neck and inside of your arms and your wrist and just have a really good Look, make, you know, make it, put it through your hair. Not too much. We don't want the greasies, right? Okay. So, I only got one of these. Um, this is the Elf on the Shelf, the Christmas Tradition um, Sugar Cookie Cereal. So, I uh, probably will send it over to Josh and Hallie's house simply because nobody here really eats cereal. I don't know. Like, if I wasn't on semaglutide, I would eat cereal. But nobody really here really eats it. So, uh, and that we didn't do Elf on the Shelf. We've never done it, but they do it for Christmas. So I'm like, well, it just makes sense to send it over there because their kids knows what it is. Okay. Not that Jack don't know what an Elf on the Shelf is, but like I said, they don't, they don't have, they don't drink or eat cereal. Okay. So I got two pairs of these 
And these are the extra large 1214 boxers for boys, I'm sure. Like it has football players and stuff. But honestly, I got these for Jack to sleep in because I think these would be so comfortable to sleep in. And they don't have like an opening here, you know, like some boxers do. So they're really just kind of like shorts. But I feel like they would be so comfortable. Now, these are a name brand. They're called Crazy Boxers. Okay. Crazy Boxers. I've never heard of them. Um, because, I guess, because I haven't bought boy boxers in a while. I don't know. Um, but they're pretty nice looking. Look at that. And they feel super, super soft. So, I don't know if she will want these or not. But I just felt like I would, I personally would love to sleep in them, you know, because she sleeps in shorts and t-shirt anyway. I just think they would be super comfortable. So I grabbed two of them. They had some different sizes, but this was her size. So, well, it should be, it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay. Let's see what else we found. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is from Be Pure and this is two different colors of what is this? Hold on. Lip Jelly, which this the name Lip Jelly got me. Um, this one is called Rose. This one is called Sandy. So let's check this out. Let's just see what Lip Jelly is. It does say high shine. Okay, paraben free, sulfate free, thiolate free. I don't even know. Cruelty free, vegan. Um, high shine with rich hydration. <clears throat> it's formulated with vitamin E, rose, avocado, and raspberry oils. So, let's check this out. Let's check this. Down and down. Okay. Okay, okay. What is this? Okay, so it's this kind of applicator. Hmm, should we? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. This color. Yes, I did already have color on, but as you can see, ooh, the shine. Guys, okay, what I was oh ho and about, it smells just like chocolate. Why? Why do they want to tempt me? Why does the universe tempt me? Give me a chocolate smelling lip gloss any day, right? Okay, so there's that one. Let me see this one. I just want to see the color. I feel like this is going to be kind of a pretty mauve. So, and let's see if it smells like... We'll, we'll do a test on it. This one smells different, but it still smells good. This smells more like... A coconutty kind of scent so okay very light mm-hmm I like it that's gonna look good over any type of lipstick maybe if you have a matte and you want it to not be a matte you want it to be a nice shine yeah that'd look good over top all right um I love use, using my hubby's little rags that he has down here for stuff like this because that's what wives do, right? Okay, guys. So, there's that. And then, the other day, when Jack had to go to her Valentine dance, I looked all over the world for some safety pins. And I couldn't find any. Well, I found two in an old sewing kit. But I'm like, uh, you let me go back to the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to get some for my sewing box. So, this has been opened, it looks like. And I didn't even notice it when I bought it. But I'm going to say that half of the big ones are gone. And I, I'm kind of ticked off about it because I didn't even notice. I saw them hanging there. I grabbed the top one as a last minute at the register thing. Look at the middle box. Tell me that some of those are not missing. Rip me off of some safety pins. All right. Well, I'm still, I'm not taking them back. I'm putting them in my case and taking it from there. Okay, um, I did, I've been looking for the pine saw stuff, okay? I did find one pine saw thing, which is these right here, pine saw eraser sponges. You get three to a pack, and it's just the new cleaning tools 
that Pine Sol has came out with, and I'm I'm here for it. Like I guess maybe they are taking over the um, <clears throat> didn't the Clorox brand come out with stuff like this? So I love it. Three, and these are like magic erasers on one side, the white side obviously, and then the blue side's a little scrubby piece, which I think is going to be great. Okay. Now, let me show you this really quick. This I can... What's this? Oh, that goes over here. Okay. Um, I did find one. One package of the 15-pack of waters. So, anytime I see those, I'm going to grab them. Because, number one, I kind of like to be stocked up on some water. Just in case all H breaks loose. <sighs> but you never know, right? Um, it's just best to stay aware and stay prepared, right? Um, Ricky's birthday is coming up before too long, and I saw this Jurassic Park gift bag, and I'm like, oh, yes, and look how amazing it is. Like, look at everything going on. Like, there's so much going on here. Check it out. I had to get it. Um, uh, let's look at the side panels. They're amazing. Just amazing. So, yeah, I had to grab that. And then we had to get this. This is the cutting board shaped Easter decor. Honestly, if you had a farm, what is it? Farm chic kitchen decor, this right here could be used. I mean, non-Easter, okay? Like year round. I just feel like the the whole farm decor, dec I, just, I just have issues with that word. Farm decor, um, I think this would be fabulous. The farm style look. Um, this is great. This does not have to be Easter. Fresh carrots, locally grown, 25 cents each. Cottontail Farms, yes. Hold on. 100% um, organic. It does not have to be Easter, in my opinion. That's just my humble opinion, okay? Maybe not, if not so humble, I don't know. I don't know. Like, is it? Okay. <clears throat> Hubby was with me on this one. We was looking at this. It's the Great Sense Air Freshener Smoke and Odor Eliminator. And it is like a dupe to the Febreze that you spray on the furniture. And I'm just wondering, like, how it smells. Like, we don't want to stream it. Just a spray. I'm going to spray it down there on my... I have a little footstool thing. and Okay. Hold on. Ooh, yes. That smells so good. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Next. Oh, this is something I would love to try. I think I might try one. Just one. Um, they look pretty thin. and um, 13 pieces has 60 calories. So, one piece should not kill me. A hot tamales conversation hearts. Okay, that's something I've never seen, and I want to see what they look like, and I want to try one. Just because. Wait a minute. I think I'm opening them from the wrong side. Okay, got it. I've got to see. Number one, I love a hot tamale. Oh, I got to smell. Oh, mmm. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so there's different colors. There's yellow, orange, and pink, okay? Look at that. God, they smell so good. I'm going to grab a pink. I'm going to grab a yellow one just to see. It says, so spicy. That one says, hot. You get me. And nothing. Okay. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a yellow one just to see if it tastes like cinnamon. It does. It's really good. Okay. Let me let me get rid of this. By getting rid, I meant chew up. Okay. All right. I got these from my daughter's work. Okay. Look how cute they are, though. They also had another one. I just, I just wanted three. You know, just three. Like, that's the lucky number, right? Or is it 13? I can't remember. 
Um, so the purple one. I love the purple one. The pink one. Sparkly hat. I still have that in my mouth. Okay. And the blue one. I mean, his beard is a little risque right now, but hey, you know, it is what it is. He's, he's, he was probably partying all night. I don't know. He was probably at the Super Bowl. Speaking of the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Did you hear my prediction? Uh-huh. Well, yeah. <laughs> it happened. It all went down. Okay. And then I got these because I'm like, these are like mini of the big ones. So I had to get them. So I got the, just a the little purple. These are just little, I don't know what you would call that. They're just like little plasticky, but felt and not really felt. I don't even know, but they're cute, right? They're just going to go cute with the other elf, with the other elves, not elves, you know. And then I get these every year because I think these are phenomenal. No matter what you do with them, I feel like you could cut them all apart and put them like in a little bowl. Even one of those little baskets, those little woven baskets that they sell, that would be so cute. One of these would probably fill up those baskets like this, except maybe a lower one. This one's a little bit high, but they have a lower one, which I'm looking at one right up there. And that would be so cute. I like that idea. Okay, and then I have this. This is the floating pen. Have you guys seen them? I just think they're adorable. It's journaling by jot and floating fl pen, which there's a flower floating in there. I just been seeing them on TikTok and I'm like, you know what? I need one. I need to have one. And basically it's an adorable little flower. See that? And it's floating in some liquid up in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to have it. Um, looks like a, I mean, it feels like a pretty nice little pen. Might be a nice little gift set for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day or something. Let me just, the, it's black ink. I'm pretty sure that's a black. Is that black? That looks bluish black. I don't know. Black ink. It should say. Uh, thick black is what it says. So, it's the floating flower in there that got me. Okay. Um, next, I found these newbies. These are Obsesso instead of Espresso, which that name is clearly adorable. So, iced coffee latte and iced caramel macchiato. And it says rich and creamy coffee drink with real milk. Um, this one is a strong brew. This one is a mild brew, 120 calories per can, and rich and creamy. Like, that just sounds good. So, I'll probably give these to my hubby just as a little kind of pick-me-up, sort of. I doubt if they're going to have any protein. Well, four grams of protein. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? So, I'll give those to him. And then, let's see what else. I got some more cute signage signages. All right, there's this other pa pack of Ryan's World socks. I knew I wasn't losing my mind. All right, so let me show you the signs that I couldn't live without. Um, and they all have to be so super cute for me to get them anymore. This one right here of the, the rabbit, it says Easter Egg Farms in some glitter. The rabbit is just very, uh, it says bunny treats sold here. The rabbit is just very old school looking to me. And if it's old school looking, I'm pretty much going to grab it. Because anything that, you know, gives me that good vibe, that good good feel good in your tummy vibe, I want. Um, and then these two right here, I love when they have the little beads on here to hang them up with. And then the round Welcome to Cottontail Farms. I love the purple and the pink glitter on this one. So cute. And then this one, I love the wood look of it. And it has the beads as well. But it's the wood look. Well, welcome to our carrot patch. And I'm loving that. I think that's super cute. Welcome to our carrot patch. And I love the bunny in the back of the truck. Look at him. Isn't he cute? He's living his best life up in there with those four huge carrots, right? Oh, I mean, oh, I love it. Okay, I've been looking for these. I was going to buy me a couple of them because, you know, they're adorable, number one. It's a heart cosmetic puff, and 
I'm going to open it. I am going to open it because it's going to go right in my makeup basket, bag, whatevs. Um, yeah, I've been looking for these. They feel so good, just like I knew they were. Look at that. And I love that it's in the shape of a heart because how much cuter could you get, right? Like, how much cuter could you get putting your makeup on, right? Um, and then I got one of these one time and ended up giving it to Jack. Well, this one's mine, okay? This one's mine. It is Blueberry Blast Taste Squad, and it's lip gloss. Have you ever seen a cuter lip gloss? And I think I probably remember maybe why I gave it to her. Let's open it. Let's open it and check and see if it's really Blueberry Blast. Urgh. Come here. Okay. That's why I gave it to her. Because you have to stick your fingers in it. Oh, guess what? I'm going to do it anyway. Just because. Why not? Oh. You only live once, right? Might as well take a chance on ending it as soon as you can by germs. Just kidding, though. Just kidding. Okay. Mm. Obviously, it's not going to have much color. I was going to say, ah, but no, it's probably from my other. But I love the packaging, honestly. It's the packaging that got me, really. And then um, I thought, since I have a desk now, why not have a, a little cute stapler with some staples in it? I've got room for it, so yeah. And then I got this because this is my favorite soap of all time. There's something about it. I, this goes back to what I was saying. If it takes me back, I'm going to get it. This take this soap takes me back like no other. Oh, I can see myself in that green bathtub from when I was little. It was a green bathtub. Like, just smelling that, I picture a green bathtub. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's just the original caress. You, it's just the original caress. It, it just doesn't get any better. And then I went ahead and grabbed a 30 pack of the tea light candles um, because it's good to have tea light candles around, you know. Um, unscented. I love the ones that's in the little metal things. So, you know, and they just kind of disappear when they burn up, which is weird. Like, how does it, how does that happen? I don't even know. I'm questioning my very existence right now. I think that's it, guys. Uh, that was a huge haul, and I'm hoping tomorrow I'm planning on going back to Dollar Tree again to uh, the one in Beckley, which is my, my big Dollar Tree, usually my good Dollar Tree, so I'm hoping I'm going to find a bunch of goodies. Um, and then Wednesday, I think I'll go to the one in Leicester Square because I really... Oh, it says my Timu order is out for delivery. <laughs> so that's going to be coming this week if it's actually out for delivery. Heck yes. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I, I'm not, not going to delve any further. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what your favorite item was. Give me a thumbs up um, if 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 you like this video any, any at all. Just give me a thumbs up for that. And I'll probably be going live one evening this week. I wanted to go live at my new desk using my computer and see if it's a good thing to go live on. So I, I, it'll probably be a surprise. Honestly, I don't have it planned out. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.